Hi and welcome back. Today we are going to draw one uh, 3D model, one uh, warrior helmet and we will start to sketch on front plane. We will make few lines for first. Make this to coincident. We need 100 millimeters here. And this here will be 270. Also make this line horizontal. We are going to revolve it both base. Select this lane for axis of revolution and click OK. Next thing that we need to do is to scale this model. We'll make Z 1.2 origin and click OK. We'll move this body three times because we need few copies on the same place for the upcoming commands. Next thing that we are going to do is to move faces. Select this to face 3 millimeters. Pick direction and click OK. Now we need to draw on right plane. We'll make few lines and extrude cut command. From here to here we need 19.5. This line has to be in center with origin line. Go in extrude cut through all direction to and for future scope we'll select body move copy one click ok we need one more thing to do now we'll combine two things so i have one error here so edit this cut flipped aside Combine, select this extrude and this face here and click OK. Next thing that we are going to do is to sketch on top plane. We'll make few lines. Few center lines this to coincident of these two. Here we have thirty five, then this has to be five millimeters. And here 22. And here 200.88. Select these lines here, make mirror. Also, one more time, select these lines and this here, and also mirror. Go in future, extrude both base. Make here offset 115. Here we need up to surface. Change the direction. And for future scope, we need to select combine one. Click OK. Now we are going to sketch on right plane. We'll start with arc, okay, 
then we need few lines one center line we will add few dimension 22 this will this here will be 16 make the center line vertical then we need this here 50 from here to here maximum 55 and we will select these four lines and we will make mirror Go in future, extrude boost base, change direction, 109. Future scope boost, extrude 1. Click OK. Now we will sketch on this surface here. also this concentric then we'll add few lines on this side also we'll add few dimension five eleven Tangent, tangent, make this maximum twenty seven. Click OK. These two has to be collinear, and we'll make extruded cut. Three millimeters, then ten degree, and for future scope, we'll select both extrude two. Click OK. One more thing to do here: sketch. Make these two concentric extrude both three millimeter is okay. Future scope cut extrude three and click OK. We'll select the last three futures and we'll select also right plane and we are going to click mirror. So right plane, the last three futures. Click OK. The next thing that we are going to do is to move face, these two faces, 3 millimeters. it should go outside, click OK, and then we will sketch on front plane, one rectangle. These two collinear. Also, we need one center line. And these three lines should be symmetric. And for final things, these two lines tangent. 22. Go in future, extrude cut through all flip side and select move face direction tool through wall click ok now we are going to sketch one more time on front plane we'll create one more time one 
rectangle few lanes this is 10 millimeters we need here 45 make this line for construction add one more dimension to the point 110 and future extrude cut change direction through all cut extrude chamfer next command we need here 7 then 15 we'll select this 3 flip direction this 2 lines click ok and uh, now we are going to sweep cut we'll use circle profile three millimeters we will change the lines visibility make sure to select the right line And for future scope, we need mirror one. Click OK. Now we are going to combine the last two features. And click OK. Now we are going to sketch on front plane. We will make one center line. Then we need few lines and curves. Then we will add some dimension. 285, 70, we'll move these two and we'll make this line here 27, we'll make from here to here 25, then we need from here to here 18 from here to here 135 exit the sketch now we are going to curves project curve we'll use this sketch we'll use this face when the both of the face are selected we will need to select this face, exit the curved project, select this face, make it change transparency. And now go on, project curve, this sketch and this face here. It should be projected this face. Click OK. Hold Shift, right click on the mouse and change transparency back we are going in future plane for first reference we'll use front plane and 30 millimeters to this side click ok then we are going to sketch on this plane we'll make few lines make this point and this line pierce then we need to sketch to dimension few things 
46. Exit the sketch and with this sketch go in surface and clear create one planar surface. Click OK. Now create one more reference, reference plane and select this line for first for second reference and this point then coincident and click ok now sketch on this plane we will make one arc this point pierce it with this here circle this point here on the on this point coincident this has to be 100 millimeter and exit the sketch now we need to create one 3d sketch select this curve here convert entities move a little bit this point and add this point coincident exit the sketch go in surface and create one lofted surface through the sketch and this sketch here click ok next thing that we are going to do is to hide this plane and this plane here and also we will hide this sketch here now we are going to make visible lanes and again lofted surface select this to edge make sure that these screen points are here click ok we can so hide this future now we need to create knit surface we'll select the last surface bodies click ok and now extend surface select these faces here 5 millimeter and click ok now click cut with surface select surface extend and combine for future scope we need to change the direction now we are going to use the command uh, mirror Again, and we will check bodies for mirror click on surface extend merge result and right plane for mirror face plane click ok and we just need to cut with surface again use mirror tree scope surface cut use just uh, right direction and click OK now we are going to sketch on this surface here we'll make one rectangle it has to be 35 and these two origin point midpoint and the length will be 125 go to extrude pose base up to vertex 
click this point here and select surface cut for future scope click ok now we are going to sketch on right plane we'll make few lines these two merge 12 extrude cut both direction to all and here we are going to select extrude cut one more time click ok go to right plane and sketch create few lines here Five millimeter, fifteen, fifteen degree. Then select these three lines linear. Here we need six, here we need one, and fifteen, and click OK. Add one dimension. 15 so when that's okay exit the sketch go in extrude cut mid plane 25 is okay then we will select contours And for future scope, we'll select also extrude cut 8. Click OK. Now we are going to do one more thing here sketch on this surface. We'll make one rectangle. Uh, midpoint from this lane will be vertical with this here and this has to be 8 millimeters this 3 millimeters extrude cut we'll go up to vertex then we'll select this line here cut extrude click ok we will add chamfer Five millimeters here and here and we will start to sketch on front plane we'll draw first one center line and then few lines just drag this point here and make it coincident and we'll add just one more line here now we'll add some dimension 116 6 11 25 130 184 select all these lines and we'll make mirror exit the sketch now hold shift right click change transparency and go in future project curve Select this sketch here and this surface here. 
click OK. One more time, right click, change transparency. Now go in sketch, create one 3D sketch, color entities, then we are going to extrude cut, select front plane, change direction. For solid bodies, we are select chamfer. Click OK. Select body body one, and click OK. The next thing that we are going to do is cut with surface. Select this surface here, and select from solid bodies body move. Then we change the direction and click OK. Do the same thing for this side. Change direction, click OK. We need one more command from solid bodies. Select surface cut and just click OK. And the last few steps to do we need shell 10 millimeters, this face here. Okay, then we are going to combine a few things. Okay, and one more time, these two, subtract and click OK. We'll hide this here. And this mirror. Now we can change material. And we'll add color for this here. It will be black. Click OK. That's our project with surface, with using surface commands. See you in next video.